Howdy folks, today let's talk about the Kiwi Ears Melody. It is a 12 millimeter planner for $89. Uh, resin build, got a little vent here on the back driver, got a little vent on the front here, and it doesn't have a, a damper or anything in there that I can tell. And I'm not gonna pull it apart because I just don't want to. But uh, good price and good build so far, and they fit well. So I popped these in my ears a few days ago and I was like, eh, just a big eh. Um, they seemed really rather V-shaped to me, a lot of bass, a lot of treble, rather sparkly, reasonable stage, but kind of in my face and just um, just a V-shape, and I'm just not a huge fan of V-shapes overall. They didn't really uh, strike me as being horrible or good, it was just kind of like in the middle of things. So I figured I'd do a quick little review today on video and listen to some tracks and then give them an overall rating. And uh, let's just go over to this. So here's their little website, uh, $89, 12 millimeter, and some things, they, coffee beans? Anyway, um, <clears throat> I measured these uh, on my multimeter as being about 24 to 25 ohm. And then uh, I've been sourcing drivers, and I happened to notice that, hey, we got this one right here, it's planner. It is uh, 12 millimeter, where's the 12? Uh, yeah, 12 millimeter right here. And it, it is in fact like 25, 24 to 28 ohm. So that seems like that could be a good match. Um, and they are $35 in I guess a quantity of 10. Um, so that's interesting, just figured I'd, I'd find that. Um, company name doesn't matter, I don't think. But uh, anyway, so let's go ahead and graph these real quick. Here's my graphings, Jeff. Let me uh, toss this on my coupler. I'll use the left ear. And just to mention this, I only graph with these tips. Let me put them on video real quick so everyone knows what the hell I'm talking about. These. And you're like, what? Okay, so there's that. They're little tiny guys. And then if I put them on the headphones, this is what they do, just to mention. See that? No bore shrinkage. None. Zero. Zilch. Nada. And I prefer it that way. Um, I had a spin fit hanging out here and I wanted to illustrate the fact that I'd spin fits change the bore diameter. And of course, as soon as I try and find the tip, I can't find it. Not super important, but the point I'm trying to make is I do graph with only tips that are basically the bore size or slightly larger, like a large size silicone. Okay. Enough said, let's go ahead and measure this. Give me one sec here. Yeah. Hey, tip flew off and almost went into my black hole behind my desk. That's no good. All right, I got the tip on, get my coupler. Yeah, it's probably gonna be roughly close to an 8K peak. Go over here. And let's see here. Oh yeah, I need to make sure that this is not on and uh, that'll probably do it. Okay. The uh, measure, go. Oh. And of course I have it plugged into the wrong device because I was about to listen to music. Let me try that one more time, sorry. All right, here we go. So I'm thinking it's going to be something like a V-shape, according to my earballs. Uh, it seems rather V-E to me. -E. <laughs> it's like a literal V. Uh, all right, so we have 10.9 decibels of pin again at 2.5K starting. Ay, whoops. I just, that's not gonna work for me. That That's just for planners, that's just, that's too much, man. Um, but in any case, let's just go ahead and give them a quick little review. There's our graph. So uh, as I do, I'm only gonna use tips that are basically the same as I just <clears throat> measured with. Wide bore, pop these on here. And I'm gonna go pretty quick on this because I don't want a boring video. All right, 
plug into my little X Duo. By the way, I'm using my X Duo 05 Plus with a Muses op amp. And the reason for that is, uh, by the way, it's in boost mode for uh, planners. Uh, I think it's supposed to increase the amount of amperage available. And it's overall one of my better devices for planners, so I just figured I'll try that. Okay, they're in my ears, and I'm going to use... Um, <clears throat> Uh, we're going to go for Viagra Boys Sports, and I'll just go pretty quick on this. All right, so it's V-shaped. I mean, not tremendously. If it was nearer to a 3K pin -a peak, it would be worse. Uh, but there's a pretty big contrast between the, uh, like the presence region of the mids and then the mid-mids. Um, plenty of bass. The stage is basically kind of mediocre, honestly. It's uh, sort of the same as your standard dynamic driver in the $100 range, I think. So, okay, but it's, it's, that wasn't bad. It was not screeching my ears out. We're going to go to the next thing, which is, um, this is actually Mondo Grasso, Dubforce Mix. So that's female Asian vocals. Okay, so pretty good. I'm um, going to say that uh, female vocals sounded pretty on point. Uh, again, a very big contrast between the mids and the presence region. Um, I would say the stage on this track is better. So, uh, but again, man, I, just give me some mids, man. It's all, it's all bass and it's all like presence and, and not much in the middle of it. Uh, we're going to go on to, let's see, I'll try a little Vaporwave. Okay, so the bass seems really pretty good to me. Uh, what are we at for bass, by the way? Jesus Christ, 13 decibels. Um, all right, so essentially what we're dealing with here is actual <laughs> literal V-shaped planner. Um, they're pulling it off because above 2.5K, we are actually not going down to too much. Uh, the, wow, did I not hit the 8K peak at all? That's just weird. Um, okay, well, <clears throat> not gonna worry about it too much. Literal V-shape set, 89 bucks. Uh, let me just try some couple other little odds and ends here. I'm gonna go for um, metal. Actually, before I do that, I'm gonna do Karungbin. All right, I, I want more mids. It's all bass and it's all presence, like Twinkly's uh, treble stuff and really nothing to meet on the bones as far as the actual mids. So, uh, not wonderful. Um, we're gonna go on to Mathematics by Mr. Bungle. All right, so that is, it's not horrible and it's also not something I'd wanna listen to. So. Um, best way to put this is it's just got a very rather grating tonality to the guitars and nothing in the middle point. So you're just hearing the upper end sizzle of the guitars and uh, it's a little bit in my face. It's actually quite in my face. Um, stage and metal, I don't know if it matters that much. Uh, it's a little bloaty because there's actually so much bass there. Uh, which is interesting. All right, so let's move on to, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we're going to try some da, da Frat Freddy's Drop Trickle Down. Okay, vocals are not the, the good part of this set. Uh, so Fat Freddy's Drop has male vocals. It's kind of um, Afro-funk, a little reggae-ish. 
and it has a lot of really nice meaty mids and they're not here so not happy with that uh but overall it's it's listenable it doesn't have a lot of like really bad peaks or anything like that so eh. uh, we're gonna go for deftones error Ugh. no so deftones has uh, the guitars are immediately raping my ears all the presence is just too much uh, the vocals have this the like a hole sucked out of the middles and uh it's way too in my face it's not for metal this isn't going to do it um we'll try some double standard which is uh well dub reggae dub modern So, it's okay. Uh, again, man, it's just the V-shape just shines through on everything. So, lots of bass, lots of tweakly treble, and nothing in the middle. Uh, but not off-putting, just, just that. It's just I don't like V-shapes that much. Um, we're going to try, let's see, anything else. Maybe a little bit of, like, EDM. Uh, we'll go for uh, 50, 53 Thieves. Uh, we'll do Heat. All right, so I know these tracks really well because I've been trying them a lot. So heat is really quite nice. Huge amount of sub bass and rumble and air. Um, <clears throat> because it's mixed with really thick ass uh, vocals, it's really, really thick vocals. Uh, this sucks a little bit of the thickness out of them because it's scooped in that area. So it's actually okay. Um, but unfortunately the stage is just not doing it for me for uh, planners can just be so much better. So, uh, it's okay. We'll give EDM a pass. Uh, but there could be some stuff like, for instance, I'm going to try Cascade. And the reason I'm going to go for Cascade is because generally it has a tremendous amount of air treble, and it's usually too much on a lot of stuff, especially high-end headphones that really lean hard into the air stuff above 10K. Let me give that a shot. Uh, we'll do, um, uh, let's see, Dynasty. Yeah. Oh, ouch. All right, so that's already like too much. I'm going to stop it there. Uh, so yeah, that was the, the high treble. The air stuff was just like... Psh, that, it's like almost a background of white noise going on there. Very, very high. So if we were to look at the graph, we would be talking about this area right in here. And so if, if this is 12K, then we're at like... I don't know, man. That's... <clears throat> let's see, what are we at? Let me try and figure this out. We're at six decibels at 12K over the mids at 700. Yikes. <laughs> Yikes. So yeah, the air stuff is going to get you, man. Um, so overall, not for me. Not the worst planner I've heard uh, because it, it actually has um, enough bass. Probably too much. It has some kind of reasonable balance with the the presence region the ear gain and the bass the mids are dipped out way too much for me there's just no chance i'm going to go for that and i really prefer flatter or less pin gain but overall um i don't know if i'm going to wreck them but essentially i don't find them horrible but i also they're not really uh, my thing so anyways uh that was a really quick little uh Quick little review, and so the overall score on these guys is going to be, out of 10, we're going to give them a 7. 7 out of 10. So, you know, decent, uh, better than some stuff, worse than others. For 89 bucks, I don't know if you're going to have a huge problem with them. Uh, but if you're a metalhead, then I'm, you probably need to stay away. And other than that, right on, and I will talk to you on the Kefine... Kafan or whatever the hell it is. Okay, bye.